Hello everybody and welcome back to a story. Once upon a time in a faraway land there was a tiny village by the name of Kameki. I think if I skip this it shows me, does it not show me this again? I can't remember. Legend tells of a horrible beast that threatened the residents. We're back with a Kami HD. This is a game we started almost exactly four years ago. I got it bought for me on the PS4. I haven't even opened it until two seconds ago. Brand new, spank, oh, spanking, oh, I don't even know what I'm saying. It also tells of the wolf that risked it all to protect them. Uh, it's been four years, so we're starting again, but we're going to do this this time. <laughs> Controlling the very fabric of his existence, this wolf stood up against the beast many times its size and banished to darkness. Wow. What a cool wolf. This ethereal wolf's valley attacked ushered in an air of tranquility. Lovely. The villagers' hearts swelled with respect and adoration of the wolf. Who doesn't like the wolf? Amaterasu, right? It's, it, yeah. <laughs> I loved the art style of this game. So, I was deciding what games to play and I was looking at the ones, all the ones I've started and I was like, screw it, we're doing Akami. It's on the list. I want to start it. We only did four episodes of this, apparently. I thought I did more. But there we go. We're, we're getting into it. It's weird. I'm on a PS4. And I've got a PS4 controller. Oh. oh, yeah. Man, what an epic opening. Okami. <sighs> Love it. Love it. We're doing it. Welcome back. Uh, these are going to be longer episodes as well. So hopefully we'll get through it quicker for you. Obviously it's going to take the same amount of time for me. Uh, yes, create new save data. Do it. Uh, so I did install this on my PS5 ready to go. And I was like, oh, I can't be bothered to move the PS5 outside and then take it back up when I'm done. So instead, uh, I've got PS4 sitting out here. I don't need to know controls. I thought I could... Oh, options. Here we go. Um, filter. What, there's a filter? No, oh, I'll just go normal. Camera control. Wait. Invert the Y axis, baby! Uh, sound settings? Why the sound settings got a separate thing? Exit. It's fine. Um, I mean, that's fine. Did that say they will be saved? Uh, I hope so. Anyway, new game. Let's do it. Oh. Love that, so good. Uh, so, the beginning of the game, there is a lot of talking. Um, we've probably gone through this before and done the talking, but we'll do it again, we'll watch the story. Oh. Hideki Kamiya. He's, uh, is it Kamiya? I, I, I'm probably mispronouncing that horribly, I apologize. Uh, has he left now, uh, Platinum, right? Um, I believe so. Because this is obviously Clover made this, right? But then obviously they became Platinum Games, and I believe he's now retiring. Yeah. Long, long ago, a tiny hamlet known as Kamaki lay nestled in a grove of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honoured as a god. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. Oh, dark secrets. The secrets being that the wolf previously gave up. He only did four episodes. See you next time, where we will beat this game in seven years or something. I don't know. Goodbye. <laughs> I like the uh, little cherry blossoms going beyond the borders. And the snaky demon. To satiate the appetite of Orochi. A fearsome cave-dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered what the hell was a sacrifice at the annual festival. That's awful. With a body like a mountain and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks, its blood-red eyes alone were set to curse anyone who gazed into them. No one dared disobey the horrific beast. Jesus. What a horrible story. I hate it. It's kind of like a hydra. I guess... Uh, if you cut a head off though, does another one grow back? That's a hydra. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shiranu. I'm probably mispronouncing it. Shiranu. 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 I'm probably mispronouncing it. I've been learning Japanese. Uh, <laughs> I'm not too far into it. I'm using Geolingo. Uh, I'm on like... 
section one unit two or something or unit three now actually uh, the wolf kept a watchful eye of anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night so I see if I see any hiragana I'd be able, I might be able to tell you what the sounds are and try to read it that might be quite fun I don't know if we'll see any I think I, I don't know people assume the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi wow it was just like but no he's just waiting ready to gain power and take him down. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranu. Shiranu. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf, but his attempts were thwarted by Shiranu's swift movements. Well, damn. <laughs> That's no good. That's no good at all. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white plumed arrow heralded the common sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into the home of Nun, the village's most beautiful maiden. Which, someone's got to shoot that right though. Or do, where does that come from, the arrow? Did I miss that part? Someone just hates uh, Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami was enraged by this sight. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all, Nagi traveled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. Well, how's this gonna go? He's just gonna eat him. The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself served as Orochi's home. As Nagi stood bravely before the entrance, a beast appeared, eyes glowing crimson upon eight flashing necks. Sounds very scary. I would not want to face that. I mean, he's got a cool sword and all. Well, a silhouette of a sword. <laughs> Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. I can't skip this, by the way. Like, quicker. I want to do it quicker. On and on he sliced, well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. I like that. Nary a scratch. It did nothing. It was useless. Well, at long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, <gasps> dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face, but no. I like how we got kind of a, like an abridged version of it, like before, but now we're getting all the details. I thought it was going to play the same thing twice. He knew he was staring death in the face. Oh, I read that. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shiranu, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shiranu leapt towards Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. So, would you prefer this kind of, um... Storytelling with like silhouettes and stuff. I kind of like the storybook kind of look of it. I guess it kind of feels like a legend uh, It'd be cool to see it, but I, I guess yeah, I get it. It's a storybook. It's cool. I don't mind it If the whole game was sold like this, maybe not, but uh... Yeah Mysterious and terrifying the spectacle continued Charu summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flame Oh, look at that. He can do it. See, this game very much, because of the... It's got some Zelda character comparisons, right? And obviously the look of this game looks a bit Wind waker -y in a way, but not. Uh, it's the cell shaded stuff. And then the wind helps as well, but you know. As Orochi closed in on Sharanu, sharpened claws glistening, a gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Sharanu fought gallantly to gain the upper hand, however... Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily bested. Shiranu covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson. Oh, poor wolf! What did he get done to him? Stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. This is unacceptable. You cannot do this. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow. But Shiranu refused to give in with its last ounce of strength. The majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl! It was pretty mighty. I did like it. It was very good. Suddenly, the black, cow the black clouds overhead dissipated. 
What? <gasps> the moon! The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Man. He really put in the work, this wolf. He's doing all the all this stuff. Guided by sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, whoa, stood proudly to face his adversary. Challenging all his strength into his scarred and battered arms, he leapt ferociously toward Orochi, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner. Oh my god, he's doing it. I like the different designs of the heads. That's pretty cool. Because they all looked the same before, didn't they? But that's cool, they all look different. Damn, he did it! Whoa! Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. Man, violent. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shiranu had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Oh no, what are you doing to me, game? You can't be doing this. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamaki. What the hell? The poor wolf. When they reached the village, Shiranu was no longer moving. Aww. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shiranu let out a hoarse and pitiful bark. Aww. Obviously as well, the wolf reminds me of Twilight Princess in a way. <laughs> Uh, well, it's a wolf in both, so why wouldn't it? <laughs> then closed its eyes and drifted off as if to, into slumber. Man, sad times. I don't like it. I don't want it. But peace has returned to Kamaki Village. In honor of Sharanu's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed the statue of the wolf within it. Sorry, I needed a drink. I've been doing so much talking. So much reading in my brain. Nagi's sword was christened Sukoyomi. Sukoyomi? Sukoyomi. Sukoyomi. I, I, I'm trying. And placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. Ah, the end. Endless peace. However, this is not the end of the story. I oh, like this. There's more to this tale than most people know. A hundred years had passed since Nagi and Shiranu's heroic exploits. It happened. I like how it trans uh, transitioned into this so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Oh, what? That's crazy. Something so quick happens and you just ignore it. See, I do remember this. Whoa. Oh, who dis? Is this the legendary sword? Is this Sukuyomi, the sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? Orochi, Orochi. No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend, nothing but a fairy tale. Who is this guy? I hate him. Oh no. What are you doing, you idiot? Why was it so easy for this man to get here and take the sword out? Why? I guess they thought nobody would be so stupid to do it. Oh, no. Oh, he who seeks power, he who has broken my bonds, speak the words. I wish to listen to the word. I, why, I would never speak these words. That is just crazy. <laughs> Utter that prayer to me and unleash my power. Uh, this guy's like, uh, I just want to see a sword. I didn't really know. I just. I, I didn't ask for none of this. Oh god. Well, damn. This man is a fool. What a foolish. <laughs> that noise. <laughs> damn. It's an interesting design. Oh my lord. I was just sleeping and then all this happens, like, what the he- Ah, oh, for God's sake. I knew we should have put a lock and a door <laughs> on that damn temple. God damn it. And the darkness returned. Lovely. I love it. Great. Good job. A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, 
there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kanaki Village enjoyed the protection ah, of a sacred tree. It's here that the real story begins. Bam. I wouldn't say the real story begins, it's just another story, you know? Or a continuation. So. Oh lord. Who? Where'd you come from? Trace. Wood Sprite. Wood Sprite Sakuya. Sakuya. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. <laughs> that just sounds, I said it so like. <laughs> what has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. I don't know why she's got this voice. My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Alright. Amaterasu! Now is the time! Amaterasu. Oh yeah. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly ray... It is going absolutely crazy in the background, by the way. I've just realized. <laughs> heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Let's do it. Give me the sun power. Whoa, boom. Ah, oh, so cool. Ah, I love the look of this game. Okami Amaterasu. Ah, such divine white light. Such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is Amaterasu. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed away the evil demon so many years ago has now not changed one bit. My reading ability is losing me. Is that all the chaos and cr craziness, you know? Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Oh, oh. He's just a dog. He just wants a nap. <laughs> after all this time. Amaterasu? Gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. I don't think he... Is it she? Since your un untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. But never have the circumstances been worse than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish the darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Just wants to sleep, hmm? Oh god, yeah. <laughs> uh, what is this? Has something stolen its way in my robe? <laughs> she really enjoyed this. <laughs> or not. Oh my god. <laughs> Phew, what on earth? <laughs> How did he get in there? You again! She really dealing with it. <laughs> what is going on? I just, like it's just rolling on the floor. Ow, 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 are you nuts? Boy, for a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more... interesting. That's all. Were you napping in my clothes again, bug? <laughs> Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I mean, he looks like a bug. I'm pretty sure he's a bug. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Isum. Wandering artist Isum. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. Sounds a bit weird. Mm, what are you? What are you implying here? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I love it. I love this. Oh, it's so good. I mean, it's pretty good. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? He really ain't. Or she really ain't happy. Is is uh, is the Kami Amaterasu a girl? What's with you, Furbo? You look kind of down in the dumps. Actually, you look kind of familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of Shiranu. Oh, well, problem solved. Ugh. Wow, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> Probably tastes rubbish. Are you crazy? 
A handsome guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. <laughs> You'll regret messing with the great Issun. Issun. Don't make me use my prize sword. Then Komaru against you. What is that? Did he actually have a sword? I didn't see it. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh, great god, Amaterasu. I've used all the power I have to protect Kamaki village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. I beg your pardon. Cut it free and the village will be reborn. Lovely. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? Wow, that Sakia girl sure said some weird stuff. <laughs> I mean, you're telling me. The villagers' spirits are being kept inside the fruit. I like how they're, um... Like, I had question marks for the name, right? And the portrait was covered with a question mark, so you didn't see them straight away. That's pretty cool. Alright. That's the fruit. That girl said that. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. It's in red, so you know, it's important. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna get, reach it. <laughs> this darkness is really getting to me, too. <laughs> a lot can happen while you're taking a nap. Well, do we get to play now? Oh, we get to play! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. All right. Uh, well, we go in here, don't we? Because it's glowing, and as we do, follow the light. Go straight to the light at the end of the tunnel. No, don't. <laughs> Where are we? It got awfully quiet all of a sudden. Oh, I can skip this now. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right stick to look around. The what? The hell one change point for? Boy, you look really look so helpless. You sure you're going to be okay? I've played this before. Oh. Oh. Changes my point of view. Oh, okay. First person. I see. We can charge. We can jump. We can do all sorts. We can probably save. Hold on. That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, your memories will be stored in the mirror for all eternity. That's cool. I like how games take things in the world and make them number of save files. Oh, that's quite good. <laughs> I don't, haven't any game ever said use multiple save files? I don't see that often, I don't think. I always do multiple save files anyway, just in case. How many can you save? 30. We're going to save 30. That is the aim of the game. <laughs> We're not ready. Um, yeah, I like how games use, like, in-world things, like bonfires, obviously, in uh, Dark Souls, or, like, checkpoints. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. It's really cool. Ah, uh, here we are. We're back in Akami. There we go. Uh, so these are going to be longer episodes. I don't know how long. This We're going to see how we go. Uh, look at all those pus just waiting to be broken. If you bust them, there might be something good inside. I know. Um, way to go, my fairy friend. Okay. I didn't need you to tell me. Too much talking. Slightly too much. No, it's not too bad. Uh, people talking about talking. People complaining about the... Um, the flowers in Mario Wonder. And I actually really like the flowers. I don't care. I really like them. The talking flowers. They're neat. They're, they're cool. Um... You know, I'm going to up the camera. I think I did this before, but the camera movement... Am I... Where's settings at? Am I being dumb? Settings. Hmm. I can't remember. How to get to settings. Hmm. Whoa! Let's start digging. Oh, there we go. I, I, I think I probably struggled with this before. Uh, camera control. Original settings. What does this mean? Oh, aspect ratio is fine. Loading screen mini games. What? Okay. Well. Um. Hmm. Is that all the camera control I get? All right. Well. Let's just carry on then. Yeah, sorry. I don't know how long these episodes are going to be. We'll, we'll have to see. Oh, actually. Sorry. Sorry. I've inverted it, but it's already inverted. So... 
That, take a, that took a long time to save, didn't it? There we go. Yeah, I did wonder that. I, I think I had this thing before. Um, so, I don't know how long they're going to be, uh, because uh, I can double jump, right? Oh, I can wall jump. Alright, yeah, okay. Um, so, I worked out. I went to how long to be and looked at the games, and good luck is found in high places. Don't want to miss any treasure. That's true. Nobody wants to miss treasure. Um, yeah, and this game is quite a long game. It's a lengthy game, and I've realised... At the rate we do them, it will take the whole year to get through if we do 10 minute episodes. And then I was looking at like the other games we're playing and I'm like, oh my god, these will all take forever. I got a holy bowl. Uh, favorite snack? Restores three units of sonar energy. Right, lovely. Ooh, I don't want to fall off. Oh, lovely, I can't. It doesn't seem like it can. So, we're going to up the length of videos. Let's see how I get on, because, you know, I've got a lot going on. Looks like the bridge is out. This shouldn't be too hard, hmm? Amateur wrestle, was it? That's kind of long. Mind if I call you Ami? Nah. Listen, Ami, ever heard of the spirits of the brush? Good brushwork has his own soul. At least that's what they say. Just watch. I'll take... it take all day to explain. Pictures worth a thousand words. Alright, here we go. Oh, I can't do it. There we go. And boom! Nice, huh? Just a little technique I mastered called Rejuvenation. It's one of many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. Practice really hard to master it. There are 13! Each one is the power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally all 13 were a single powerful deity. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within objects all around us, but god or no god, how can anyone have power to master all? Well, well, well. Who's gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. You can't stop me. Yeah, so they're going to be longer. We'll see how we get on with, like, the whole thing. Because, you know, i got a lot going on. And I'm planning to do more videos for everything. So we'll see what happens. River of the Heavens. That sounds pretty cool. The River of the Heavens? They mean the fabled Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. It could be that little puddle over there, could it? i got a drawer, ain't I? But i got to learn it first. I know what I'm doing. That coin fall off? I'm gonna be very upset if it did. Uh, replay. Did I get it or not? <laughs> I don't know. What's up here? Wow, look at the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. I can't skip this, but like, make it go faster. Hey, look, are those stars forming pattern or is it just me? Rightio. Hmm, there's one missing. Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Why, well, I wanted to do it. Huh, bah. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Alright, Sp sure spent a heck of a lot of time practicing that. <laughs> it's not happy. Alright, we can do it. Boom! Oh yeah, look at me go! I'm too good. Boom! We unlocked a dragon. Oh, that dragon looks cool! <laughs> Yummy gummy. Ah, why? If it isn't another Amaterasu. Is it mother? I thought I said another. I was like, what? Since when? How many mean? I apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, Yomagami, god of restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could again meet. I, I feel like I'm reading everything wrong. While you're away, the 13 spirits of the brush that you once possessed. I possess them all? They do look, they, they get the similar design to me, the white and the orange. He scattered across the land of men and now lie in disarray. I became a constellation and managed to survive until now. That's insane, you became a constellation? <laughs> the time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. This is very mystical, isn't it? Magical. See, now I don't know what that is. <laughs> I've only learnt Hiragana, and then obviously there's Katakana and Kanji? I don't know, I, I'm, I'm learning, alright? I'm trying. 
Wow, that was Yomigami, the god of rejuvenation. Wait, so you have the power of rejuvenation now? Can you really use it to restore the river of the heavens? That would mean you were as good with a brush as yours truly. Nah, it can't be true. I'm already bad. I drew a star. You can draw a star. Did you not listen? I've mastered all of the... All of the techniques before. All 13. Look at him up there. Oh, he's just chilling. This game really does look cool. I really like the design. It's kind of ageless, like timeless, right? It, it won't really age. Whoa, I did a loot boost. Do I need to... Yeah. I could pull off a stunt like that. Don't you dare doubt me. Doubt my power, will you? I'll show you. I want to get these though. Might as well. So there is a trophy I need to get. So I looked up the trophy list. And there's a lot of, like, information about it. It's a long game as well, like... Oh, God. Okay, what am I doing? Right, can I do... Can I do it from here, or do I have to look at the statue? Alright, I think he'll just talk to me if I do that. If I do this, can I just... Do that. Will that work? Boom! I think that's a lot better than the first time I did it. Wow! A river of stardust. So that really, this really must be the river of heavens. But what we really want to know is who the heck drew the darn thing. God damn it. God damn you. <laughs> Look at this. Beautiful. Uh, what was I even talking about? Yeah, so there are some missable trophies if you go too far in the game. And also, I've got a... You've got to get the cherry blossom-like uh, ranking or something like that. So I can't die. I think it's like five times, but... I'm going to die none. Not what you found, Furball. This astral pouch here is amazing. It can swallow up lots of food. Then when it's full, it can arrive at its owner if he or she dies. Let's start feeding it with whatever food we can find around here. Lovely. Let's get some food. I'm hungry. That's not food. Can't eat yen. Try, I guess. Probably wouldn't be very tasty. Oh, I got an apple. Nectar-filled sour apple. Lovely. Oh, my camera control's not going too well right now. <gasps> Peach! Ah, oh, juicy and fragrant peach. Lovely. Ah, oh, now I'm hungry. I want some food. I only had lunch not too long ago. Uh, orange. Lovely. Orange with sharp citrus taste. Lovely. There we go. There's no more over here. I'm really messing up the camera controls, aren't I? <laughs> I love... How do they like the edges with the black line? It's pretty clever. I don't know how they do it. It's insane. There's games like this that will never age. I like PS2 aesthetic anyway, like, like, obviously this is the PS4, like, HD remaster, so it's going to look a lot better. We're in widescreen for a start. We're, uh, in 1080p, so, you know, a little bit better looking. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, so, yeah, other trophies, I've just, there's a lot to it, and it's a long game. Like, I worked out it would be like 170 episodes or 160 episodes or some nonsense if I did 10 minute episodes. So, yeah. It's going to be harder to tell what the longest series ever would be, though, just from numbers alone, you know? Oh, yeah, the trees do that thing. Yeah, they got the 2D plane thing going on. Look. I like that. Yeah, look at it. Ooh. I remember the first time I saw that was in... What is it called? Is I don't know what this is called. It's kind of like cardboard cutout sort of thing, right? I don't know what the name for it is, though. It's interesting. I like it. Um, I, I noticed the first in Just Cause 2, I think. No, Just Cause 1. Just Cause 1, yeah. Uh, I didn't play much of that. I just got really interested in buying it because I saw how many collectibles there were, and then I kind of realised there's not much point to it, but... Uh, it's been a long time since I played it, so I don't really remember it. I got a stray bead. Uh, find all the scattered beads and get a special reward. Oh no. Oh no. Should I be keeping track of these? Oh lord. Oh lord. Here we go. Woohoo! Oh, this is a beautiful river. See, I do remember all this. Obviously, yeah, literally, I think the last episode of uh, Akami, episode 4, went up on the 17th of October. Uh, 2020, 2019, and I'm recording this on the 21st of October, 2023. Uh, and I've just realised, Happy New Year! I haven't said it. <laughs> but this is a brand new year. I'm pre, as you can see, October. I'm recording this. I'm trying to pre-prepare everything. Uh, dumplings, doughy balls made from grain. 
Ah, oh, lovely. Dumplings. I've never been a huge dumpling fan, but usually we... Maybe dumplings are different in Japan. I feel like they might be, from what I'm thinking of. The dumplings I know, they might be the same. Dumplings I know of are like always put in stews, and I do not like stew. It's just, uh, it's just nasty. <laughs> I just don't like it. I don't know what it is. Maybe I've just not had a good stew, you know? Maybe I've just had terrible ones. How uh, do I dash again? Oh, yeah. I like the little trail behind me. It's cool. Go, go, go! Ah, oh, it's Nagi. Statue, at least. Is this... Is this the legendary shrine? We must be in the cave of Nagi. The legendary hero Nagi is enshrined here. He vanquished evil a hundred years ago with the help of the white wolf, Shiranu. Uh, first the river of the heavens and now this place. Where the heck are we, Verbal? Boy, this place is a wreck. See, that sword is really bad... is in really bad shape. The gods sure don't do much to protect this place. Wow. I think I know what I gotta do. Use my power. Do, do, do. How tall is the sword? That's the question. Oh. It's that tall. It's a huge sword. Ah, oh, it's pretty big. Does it depend how big you do it? Like, it changes the sword. Like, you can make it a little dagger. <laughs> that really was your brushwork all this time. How'd you get so good? Exactly who are you anyway? Have you not been paying any attention? Or did he not see... The, uh, the, the dragon. Hey, there's another constellation. This one looks like a... Oh. It's like a little... It's, what is it? It's like a little... Mole. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Whoa! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, it's so cool! Man! That's so sweet. Touch your gummy. Well, well, well. If it isn't Mother Amaterasu, I'm just kind of doing. How many voices can one man do? <laughs> I'm not very good. They probably all sound the same. It's been a long time, but with all these monsters around, the only. She's got a squeaky voice, I realize. You can hear it. Only place I could hide was in this shrine dedicated to ancient heroes. If there was anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Really cool design. I love it. Make good use of this sword as if it was designed to conquer evil. Seems a little mouse. What's it meant to be? I'm not sure. Whoa, boom! That reminds me of the um, bloop, and the shrines in uh, Breath of the Wild. Uh, I haven't really played much of Tears of the Kingdom, which is crazy, but there you go. I will play it. Hey, that was the god Tachigami, master of the power slash technique. If you're getting all these powers, then you're just like that Shiranu. You know the Wolf of Food and died alongside the Great Nagi. When Shiranu died, the Wolf's power split into the 13 Brush Gods. So I'm the... yeah, I'm the god. Okay. This is crazy. Shiranu and Nagi is just like the legend. Well, anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off on that boulder? I'm gonna do it. I won't believe it till I see it. Oh, I'm so excited. Here we go! Shing! Wow! <laughs> I didn't think you had it in you, Furball. I'm not even in the same league as you. Alright. Guess I really overestimate myself. At least he admits it. There you go. Hey, Furball. Uh, I mean, Amaterasu. I've made up my mind. If you're Sharanu reborn, then that means you can master all 13 techniques, right? In that case, I think I'll tag along you along until I'm as good as you. Lucky you. <laughs> we got a buddy. No. It's like a flea. <laughs> it's no use trying to change my mind. There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. But enough about me, now that you've mastered the power slash, you can cut down that thing Sakuya was talking about. Let's go back and give it a shot. Let's do it. Can we examine? What a magnificent statue. Always wanted to draw him. Now's your chance. Alright, let's go. Oh, we got a big arrow telling us what to do. Oh, how do I get through? Easy. Oh, I think it's... Is it raining? I think it's started to rain. I'm really... Oh, I cut a tree outside here. Oh, and the torch. My bad. Uh, I'm really liking that the weather has changed. We're no longer in summer. It's winter. It's, uh, well, it's, all, it's meant to be autumn. But it's very cold. It's not really... It's a bit cold, you know? Oh, here we go! What the... Where'd they come from? Ah, whatever. Draw first, ask questions later, right? You know that divine instrument you have on your back? Well, press the square button to use its power against them. Pure, pure. Slash them. Turn them black and white. They're easy to break for your brush. 
Power slash, baby. Can I do? Whoosh ching. Ah, oh, not quite. There we go. Got him. Did they actually they chop in half? That's great. Ooh, I got some ink. Yeah. I need to collect it up. Boom! I got the little cherry blossom thing. Lovely. Haha! -ha, our first battle complete! There's no stopping us now. We're too good. We're too good at this. I believe the first episode I did of this was half an hour long. I've already been going 40 minutes and I feel like... I don't know how far I got in that. Well, did I ever... Did I not end up uploading all of Akami? I don't know. Power slash him. Whoop, bam! Ah. What, I have to... This is where I find out I never finished editing it. Who knows? Oh, here we go. But this time, we're not going to give up, okay? Oh, I got hit. I'm terrible at video games. Oh. Oh, what the heck? I'm doing terribly. The first battle went so well as well. Oh, man. I'm mad at his face. I didn't read what that was. I did terribly. I took damage. God damn it. Oh, well. Uh, there's also a trophy to defeat every enemy in the game. There's a couple that you have to be careful not to miss, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Gotta get them all. Gotta catch them all. Uh, I wonder, I don't know if there's much of a tracker for that sort of thing in the game. You've just got to know. Uh, so, yeah, I wish more stuff like that was trackable. Do you know what I mean? See, so you had like a log of stuff. That'd be really cool. Man, the music's really... Trippy. <laughs> I like it. I'm going to break all of these because apparently I need like 4 million yen by the end of the game as well. I don't think I need 4 million like total. I, I just need to have collected that much, you know, over the whole course of the game. So, let's get collecting and get them all. Yeah, I haven't watched those videos for since I edited them, probably, uh, on Akami, so I don't really recall. Well, I feel like the first episode was half an hour long, but if it was, then... Oh, you're... Surely, I wouldn't have even made it this far yet. Unless I'm just being super slow today. Who knows? Who knows indeed? Ah, oh, get it all. I want an ability to suck all the yen in. I don't want to have to chase it. You know, that just seems like hard work. Let's save. I'll save the game. And get on with it. Ooh. Oh yeah, Mr. Orange. Do you remember him? Sorry, spoilers if you've never seen it. But yeah, we're going to see Mr. Orange. Also, I don't know how it's going to be with uh, this channel going into this year because uh, I think we're going to actually tell people over on What Our Movie about the channel. So hello if you're from What Our Movie. Uh, it's just me rambling uh, <laughs> for God knows how long. Uh, I hope you're enjoying this. I know it's been a lot of talking, a lot of me doing stupid voices and they probably all sound the same. But yeah. The whole point of this uh, calc part of this, it was a separate channel, but I kind of merged it with this because it's the same thing. It's just me on my own. But the whole point is for me, this is beautiful by the way. I love it. My controller's going crazy vibrating. Um, the whole point is for me to beat all the games I've never beaten uh, that I own. And I own a lot of games. A lot of games. Uh, and hopefully I'm a bit more organized at this point, but who knows. Uh, wow, the village has been restored. Saki, I came through big time. She really was protecting the village, but I sure wish I could have spent some more time in her commode. <laughs> if you know what I mean. God damn you, Isson. But seriously, monsters running around and all, the village could still be in danger. Let's go see how they're all doing down there. All right? Lovely. I can't really move the camera here, so I'm just going to walk straight ahead. Why not? Oh, look, there's a sad man down there. I think he's a statue, from what I remember, right? Yeah, it's all creepy. What, um, what in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Well, whatever, let's go talk to the villagers. 
I think that's our problem. I'm going to go up here just to look. I know it's not where we're meant to go. I think we've got to go up here in a second. Boost me. Go faster. Whee, woo -hoo. Is there any statues up here? No. I don't think there's anything up here, actually. I wasted everybody's time. I think I'm meant to come up here, though, right? And draw. Draw. Because we're still in darkness. It's really, really horrible looking. Creepy. I feel like I'm in Silent Hill. Kind of. There's some games I need to play. See? Do you think I got? I've got so many games. Hello? Hey, there's a statue here too. It's like the villagers have turned to stone or something. What was that noise? Not a game. That's one of those smaller monsters that's lurking about. Or all that that's got to belong to something much bigger. Let's hurry up and find someone with a pulse around here. Yeah, that didn't sound nice. Everyone's not alive. No good. Definitely something strange going on around here. The village is back. But what's up with the dark sky? Maybe it's dark outside the village too. Let's find some high ground. All right. Okay. Now we got to go back all the way up. All right. Cool. I wasted time, but it's fine. It's all good. Right. Uh, yeah. So yeah. Welcome. Uh, and I hope I'm not too annoying over here. <laughs> there is something strange going on. Uh, I mean, it might be that nobody wants to watch me play games, so I don't, I don't, it's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Welcome to 2023, where I'm still trying to play through games. Uh, this is bad. The sun's not even shining. It's as black as night as far as the eye can see, and not a single village can move a muscle. Is it some kind of curse? Did a monster do this? It's not going to stay like this forever, is it? He's freaking out. This guy is freaking out. If only the sun were there. It's impossible, even for a god like me. If you had that kind of power from the start, that'd be a whole different story. Go and do it. It's an alright circle. <laughs> it's not the best. Does the sun actually appear near where I drew the circle? Or? What, 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 that? Hmm, come to think of it, your name is Amaterasu. That's the name of the sun god. Well, there you go. So follow that you had the sunrise technique from the start. There we go. We got three techniques, I guess. With it, you could even turn night into day. Damn. I'm no run-of-the-mill god. The flowing brush is like music from the heavens. That's a line from one of my grandfather's poems. He felt a skilled artist was like a musician of shape and color. Uh, since you're such a great artist yourself, why don't we name your brushwork after that poem of his? It's called... Celestial Brush. That's a pretty good name. Oh, I like that name. After all, your brush did bring out the sun. Well, let's get back to the village. Lovely. Let's do it. Oh! Hmm, who are you? <laughs> this guy. <laughs> He's so bizarre. Why are you doing that? Village Elder Mr. Orange. A white wolf? Not the one who fought that terrible creature with Nagi. You couldn't possibly be the legendary Shiranu. I, am I pronouncing that wrong? I, I probably am. I apologize. It's Mr. Orange. I told you. No, it can't be. That story is a hundred years old. I, did, I, love how, I love how Mutarasa is just like, oh, I'm ready for a nap. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Iligadu. I, I'm doing terrible voices. On the other hand, you don't look quite as smart. Um, uh, yeah, don't be... <laughs> don't be dissing me. Whoa, 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 we need a growl. No need to growl like that. I, I, my voice is changing every time. Can you really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not one to mince words, I just state the facts. <laughs> He's ready to fight, look at him. Holy, what's happening? Oh, demons. Demons! What are these? I, I couldn't read that quick enough. <laughs> I don't think I knew what it said. Mm, was a sudden chill down my spine? Here they come, Furball. Those are the monsters that have been plaguing these lands. <laughs> sometimes I can skip, sometimes I can't. They sneak into villages and cause all sorts of trouble. I would say it's probably because of the music, but it's not, because I still have to press the button to continue. Step aside, Furball. This is a job for my trusty sword, Den Komaru. Nope, nope. Whoa! Holy moly! <laughs> That's so good. <laughs> Poor Mr. Orange. <laughs> Got wrecked. Got absolutely wrecked. Shing. 
Shing. Swing. Look at that. Destroyed you in no time. I'm too good. Why do I look different? I don't have my little flamey thing on me. Ah. Oh, we got some praise. I believe that's what it's called. Wow, you really get aggressive when you're mad, don't you? Hey, you got yourself some praise! And look, see how that dried up spring began flowing again? That's because ridding an area of monsters restores the gods' power to the land. People call it divine intervention. <laughs> the more you restore the land to its natural beauty, the more praise you'll get. It's the source of your power. Few people believe in gods these days, and that may weaken you. But if you try real hard, your true power just might shine through. Wow, I have to put in actual work? God damn it. But boy, there's sure been a lot of monsters around lately, and that Mr. Horridge does around up the, the sacred deck. <laughs> Look like he looks like he thinks you're a regular wolf. Seems the gods have grown so weak people can't see them anymore. Oh. Oh, uh anyway, I'll show you around the village. I have a feeling we're in for an epic adventure. This should be fun, Verbal. It's gonna be epic, everybody. Epic adventure Feedback! Ah that seed loving animals can't resist. Wait, well, little devil, look at this sweet grub you found. Hey, wait, this is animal food. Still, we could save it to give to animals. Let's use it when we try to approach animals later. Something good might come out of using it the right way. I know gods aren't supposed to use creatures in this manner, but what the heck, let's make an exception this time. Oh, I almost forgot, there was something I wanted to tell you. If you want to check the items you've obtained, just press the touchpad to open the fan. Okay, okay, yeah, I can check items, that's fine. Key to a successful adventure. Right, so yeah, look, we got items. Uh, lovely ah, oh, lovely map. Where are the items? Are this here? Tools? Ah. Oh. Alright, cool. Lovely. Lovely. Is Mr. Orange still up here? Where did he get tossed? <laughs> he's just like, <laughs> he's gone. I launched him into the stratosphere. He's absolutely out of here. This health? I don't think I need to collect that, did I? Well, oh well. I collected it now. It's done. There's birds. I want to feed the birds. Isn't there a bark button? Feed. There we go. I just want to do it. I want to... Hey! We got to feed the little birdie! They love it! Oh yeah. This game's too cute and beautiful and wonderful. I love it. And I've never really played that much of it. Like, the most I've played was the last time we played it on the channel, which wasn't all that much, so... There you go. Oh, do we... Is it? Is it just... Do I have to press a button? We could just chill here. This is really chill. Oh, that could be my next chilling video. Just sit here watching, like, a bird eat. That wouldn't be a bad idea, actually. <laughs> here we go! I... What is happening? Oh. Oh, okay. It, it does finish itself. <laughs> I didn't press skip. It just gave me the option to press it. We got some praise. Oh yeah. Is there a bark button? Oh, whoa, I can zoom out a bit. That's nice. Look at the village. Oh, this reminds me of Wind Waker as well. The little, like, uh, there's like a little mountain on, on the outside island. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, should I fed these birds? Oh, great shine. <laughs> uh, I feel really bad. Hello? Ah, I feel it. I sense it. Foul beasts dwell in this place. Concentrate. Look hard. You see, right behind you now. Oh my god. What the heck? Why, sir? Why would you do that to me? Aww. Boom. Eat it. Look at my combo. My combo meat is off the chain. Boom. I'm doing it. I'm too good. Is that it? Oh yeah. Look at me go. Can't stop me. I like how I said I gotta get like four million yen or something when I beat the game, but then the, the the numbers don't go up that high. But there's a zero in front of it to to tell you that it might only go that high. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Humans are not witness to such battles, but I saw it. The fighting went on for exactly twelve seconds. Hmm, you fight well. I've chosen the path of Buddha, but in you I sense another power. And I see the path you've chosen is also a path of truth. Hey, give me that praise! Oh yeah. I can bite people. Ah, Poor guy. 
I've ruined his day. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah. But yeah, it reminds me of Outset Island with the little mountain at the top of the village. Obviously that's an island and, you know. Look at this. Look at this lovely place. Hello. Mushi's mother. I've just had about enough of this. I don't know if it's stray dogs or monsters or what, but someone keeps messing up my crops. Going around digging holes with triangle. It makes me mad. If I catch you digging around here, you'll get a good thumping. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. Oh, I got a turnip. Oh, tuber with crispy texture. Oh, don't thump me. Don't do it. Madam. Madam. <laughs> Did they stay? Oh, okay. She given up. She given up. Two. You missed. Ah, oh, I missed. Oh. Oh. Oh, she's scary. I don't like it. I got. I don't know what the purpose of this is. It's just to gather me some turnips. She gives up pretty easily, though. I will say. Huh. Oh, she got me. I got free. <laughs> there we go. Oh man. Oh, can we read this? What's going on? Home of Hay Hayabusa, the greatest hole digger in Kamaki. <sighs> this is Mushi's handwriting. All right. Well. We did it. I think we might end it there. We've uh, for the first episode, um, we've done a bunch. Are these people still like in stone over there? They look concerned. Oh no, I think they're okay. Look, he's just chilling away. There's a kid running around like a lunatic. There's a dog. Can I bark at dog? Hello, dog. I don't want to bite. Is there a? Oh, I can bring up the map like that. Oh, that's neat. Jump, attack, bark. Can I bark at the dog? Oh, <laughs> That animation is great. I made a friend. Oh, how lovely. I do need to save though, so we can't quite end it. Uh, we can save it here, right? There we go. Save the game. Well, that was Okami HD Episode 1. We have made some progress. We've got through the initial introduction of the story. We've got three abilities. Um, as you can see at the bottom, I don't know if you saw them. Uh, we've barked at a dog, we chucked Mr. Orange around, and we dug up a few turnips. And it's going really well. So, I don't know if going on, if they'll be an hour long each. Uh, they possibly will be. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how we go. Uh, I was intending for them to be 20 minutes, but obviously with this first episode I knew it was going to be longer. Oh, look. She's sitting down. Lovely. Uh, look at this. It's beautiful. I love this. Oh yeah, we can restore that water wheel, mill wheel. We'll do that next time, but yes, I'm going to leave you alone there. Um, but thank you for watching. Uh, there should be two of these episodes a week uh, with uh, Okami. If I do it the same way, might change it up. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I'll see you next time for some more Okami. And for other stuff, we're starting a bunch of brand new series, hopefully. Uh, so look forward to that. Obviously, we will be continuing older stuff we've started as well. So don't worry. Uh, we'll never abandon. We'll never... Uh, any games. But thank you once again. I'll see you next time. We will beat some games. Bye bye.